Okay, so here's the unproven part. I'm using data from the experiments to do this, so let's see what happens. So those little tabs are, are keeping it pretty strong. Okay, cool. That'll work in the future. Hello there, the internet. Yesterday, I had an overheating problem with this. It didn't trip out the breaker or fail or anything, but after 20 minutes of running, really hot to the touch on this treadmill motor. So I made this. This is a fan, 3D printed. Has a duct on the outside to help channel everything down. And I thought we'd just give it a test run. It's just a press fit onto the shaft on top. So let's see what happens. I would say that's effective. <laughs> that's kind of cool. It's like wind tunnel tests for NASA. Only, you know, crappier. Well, there's definitely plenty, uh, plenty of wind coming out of that. Smells like burnt paper towel. So, yeah. So, yeah, Gruel uh, took about five hours to print. It's one inch tall, three and a half inches wide, quarter inch wall, quarter inch blades with uh, roundovers. And this is one inch in diameter for the center hub here. And the shaft on this one, the particular one, is 0 0.314 thousandths of an inch. So we kind of had to avoid uh, these screws and the wires underneath, so I didn't want to bring this down, but potentially you could. Um, but I think it's going to have enough cooling now. I don't have to worry about this thing overheating. I was a little concerned. And uh, as a treadmill, if you'd run more than 25 minutes on it, she'd kick out. And I think it was because this thing, the fan on it, had broken and was no longer there. So now I can do long runs on this. I was a little afraid to before. If you'd like a, uh, a copy of the STL or even a, a .stp file of this, I can just shoot me a message and I'll send it over to you. Thanks for watching.